Good morning, everybody. It's Darren. The date is uh, it's Labor Day, uh, Monday, September seventh, two thousand. Let me see if this is still recording here. Two thousand twelve. Well, what am I saying? It's two thousand twenty at five p.m. Just starting off my day there. I slept a little late today, and. Uh, Mmm, that's good coffee. See how I make my coffee? I boil, I boil it in a pot now, and then I boil water, and then I, what I do is I put the grains on top, the uh, high quality coffee, not the garbage anymore, because your boy can afford the good stuff now. The Tim Hortons, and then uh, Twin Turbo, a friend of mine told me that you just put the grains in there, and you let it settle to the bottom of the pot, and then eventually it also, the grains settle to the ground, and then you just drink it, and it's like, it's good coffee. Uh, the reason why is because I, uh, my coffee machine broke. Uh, my $12, my $15 garbage uh, coffee pot broke, basically, because it's a piece of garbage and it broke. And then I had a friend uh, give me a coffee press and that thing broke too. Sorry about that. But uh, the, um, the component basically broke off and now I'm basically I have no coffee machine. I got to make it old school, but one of the ways I made it old school is I used to uh, filter it, if, if you've ever been to my place, I used to filter it through a, a old t-shirt basically, and I would offer our guests coffee, and they'd look at me like with this horror, this, like I it stepped on their puppy's head, this look of horror, and no, I ain't drinking that garbage, you know, it was, a, it was only a step up from filtering it through a goddamn sock in the prison. Basically today I'm working on, hold on, let's see if this is still recording here, I'm having my coffee, so I figured I'd throw on a, make a little tutorial video basically. I'm filming right now through the uh, Canon T3i camera that was purchased in 2011. Um, costs uh, up to $1,500 this camera, and it's I, it's it's obsolete piece of shit now. Basically, uh, it took me three three weeks to earn that money. Basically, painting this rich guy's uh, house, and the rich housewife would say, "Well, he was 43, and she was no, he was 41, she was 23, and she was in charge of uh, the paint job, so she." I'd go and I'd paint the walls, and uh, she'd, she'd, look, she'd stand back and look and say, hmm, I think it would look better light. So I'd have to repaint the wall a different color, and so on and so on and so on, and I just basically stayed at that place forever and ever until she was satisfied. And the guy made a deal with me because I was admiring his camera at the time and I wanted to get into photography at the time. He said to me, I'll make you a deal there and you do all this work and I'll buy you a camera. And he was, he was, uh, he uh, honored his agreement basically, but, I should have been paying at least, in retrospect, I should have got at least three grand for that job. Knowing what I know now about house painting and rich people, my friend. So basically I'm working on this um, aerial piece. Here's the original, well, the refreshed original. This is a, an original drawing. I photocopied it a few times. I photocopied it on watercolor paper so I could do color tests. Here was the first test. This was my second watercolor test, I think. It went very well, but it's, as you can see, it's polluted with all a bunch of notes and stuff like that, so it's not good anymore. So I wanted to basically redo it here. So what I tried to do is, I, I, what I did here on this one was I took, if you watch my last video, I took spray adhesive, sprayed adhesive to the back of, uh, of um, tracing paper, the tracing paper on there, Cut around it, peeled off the layers I wanted to expose, the silk screen basically. But the problem was there was tack still, there was tack. I didn't take too much tack off. So there's tack on here and it didn't allow the watercolor airbrush spray because I wanted to do airbrush because I wanted to make it softer than this sort of burn victim type of look, which is actually pretty nice now though. But it, 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 it made a layer of tack and the, and the watercolor through the airbrush wasn't allowed to bleed into the paper so there's a it's still tacky and it just doesn't look good. It just it's not good. So today I'm trying what I'm gonna do. I was this is airbrush. I'm gonna try this third one, airbrush, but what I'm gonna do to avoid the tack, because honestly people, this tack just ruined it. It just it just it's garbage now. So that's garbage. So I'm gonna try there's there's other alternatives I can do basically. So basically uh, I'm making videos basically um, we find the answers. What we do is we find the answers. So by printing originals we do color tests as if, as if it's a coloring book and we learn how to color because coloring is not my forte so there's a number of ways I could mask this off 
Um, today I, I'm going to try to get um, rubber cement, which I became aware of in art school, but I haven't touched that stuff in many years. And I'm going to try um, uh, I'm going to try a two-inch brush, uh, and then I'll just do a, a wash basically. But that's that's two separate uh, tests. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this the um, the, the, the good old uh, the good old green painter's tape and just put it over here and as you can see you can actually still see through it um, so you don't need to go through all the trouble of uh, spray adhesive and tracing paper so you can still see through it and cut with a razor blade and as you can see painter's tape is very very it's not aggressive so when it comes off it doesn't tear the paper which is nice and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to freehand I guess in the next video I'll freehand airbrush the tint on her face and I'll use a uh, this is a, a mask and, I'll, and you'll, you'll, you'll get to see that in my next video so I'm not going to mask off her skin we're going to have some bleed uh, outpour tone uh, off her uh, you know on a coloring book you're not supposed to go over lines but we will go over lines but we're going to chisel it up again with pencil and or something else and the skin tone will probably the flesh tone will bleed into the background but it's such a light tone that it will probably be irrelevant. So basically, got my trust me reading glasses on here, and you don't want to slice too hard. But again, you can be a little bit liberal because we're going to go over it again with, with pencil to sharpen up the edges after, um, after it's been sprayed. But I got to tell you, people, man, my oh god, yeah, you know what? It doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna. It doesn't matter. I can sort of go into her lip because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna basically chisel it out again with the, my trusty red Prisma colors. So there's a nice mask, and you're not gonna have that adhesive tack anymore, which, as I say, ruined this drawing here. Here's the original. Of the, but what, what, what's oh geez, I already spilled coffee on the original. Look at that. Look at that, people. Um, but again, this is just a test, and the reason why I chose Ariel is because it's a simple form. It's not like it's not that. I, don't read into this. I don't really care about the Little Mermaid, please. It's just a subject that. I, if, if, if people ask me why do you draw this, why do you draw that? Well, this is in the past. In the past, when I was doing my drawing blitz for eight years or seven years, I would draw whatever got my attention in the morning. You know, I'd be having my coffee, looking at the internet or whatever, and whatever I. Whatever, I don't know, I'd be channel surfing, and whatever came to my attention, I'd be like, well, I'd like to draw that. And this particular uh, batch of aerials, which I did during my tattoo apprenticeship, the reason why I um, did all those is, well, there's a number of reasons, but one of them is because I knew I could sit there and draw on his couch, which he made me draw on his couch and wasted my time for a month or two months, I believe it was. I knew I could basically plan the drawing out the 